Thank you so much, Marie, for your incredible example, leadership, and for your very kind words. I'm honored and humbled to accept this award that is named after you. You are and always have been a trailblazer. Thank you for all that you continue to teach us. I would also like to congratulate all of the other recipients and thank you each for your leadership and dedication. Thank you to Teresa and everyone at the Ms. Foundation for this incredible honor. I'm humbled to receive it and I accept it on behalf of the farm worker and other migrant women workers on whose behalf I serve. More than half of the world's economic migrants are women and a growing number of women are migrating across state and country borders in order to seek employment opportunities here in the United States. Nearly one million of these women are farm worker women. And as the daughter and granddaughter of migrant farm workers, I've dedicated my life's work to serving them, my community, to fight against widespread sexual harassment, wage theft, hazardous working conditions, and so many other issues. I've also worked to change the narrative about the farm worker community and migrant women so that people across our country will see, hear, and celebrate them, their work, and their many contributions. For far too long, women working in lower paid jobs, like those who work in agriculture as caretakers and domestic workers, have been undervalued despite the fact that they do the work that keeps our world turning. This devaluation has led to their mistreatment, dehumanization, and denial of respect, rights, and so much more. These are the very things that I and so many others have dedicated our life's work to curing by building power, creating new platforms, and organizing for change. I'm grateful to all of the inspiring, powerful women who in this moment continue to meet the moment that has been presented by the crisis that we're all living through. Farmworker women and many other women continue to go to work every day to feed us and provide other critical work to help do the jobs that we all rely on. They need rights, benefits, respect, and support. I call on each of us to commit to lifting these women up as essential every day and to work our hardest to ensure that they and their work are fully appreciated now and in the future. They are and always have been heroes among us.